good morning you guys good morning today is actually going to be the last day that we do the 5 a.m prophetic prayers this month so starting on monday we will be praying at um midnight so for the entire month we will be praying at midnight we will no longer do them at 5 a.m but we're gonna rotate we're gonna rotate you know we'll do the 5 a.m prayers again most likely in november and then we're just gonna be starting you know midnight prayers in october and i'm so excited good morning guys good morning you know today we're gonna be praying against familiar spirits and i truly pray that you know we the the, the lord delivers us and sets us free from every trap of the enemy you know any spirit that is monitoring our life that is trying to monitor our progress monitor the blessings that god has for us i just declare that they will be cut off in the mighty name of jesus christ and if you guys are new on this live, definitely comment where you are watching from. And I'm just excited to see what God does because God is always doing something. He is always up to something. What does familiar part mean? Just they're around often. Yeah, because these spirits are normally around for many generations in the bloodline. Oh, you're watching from California, Texas, Wisconsin. That is so cool. Yeah, so, you know, these these monitoring spirits are also known as familiar spirits, and they're normally spirits that operate in bloodlines for many generations. You know, they watch the families, and they make sure that they reinforce these negative patterns. So things like addiction or just negative ungodly things that you know, go on in life. They try to make sure that they enforce these things, cycles of stagnation, delay, hindrances, you know, issues like that. And, you know, familiar spirits, they're also used by psychic mediums. And this is also why, you know, it's so important for us to also have the spirit of discernment as believers. We need to know that going to psychic mediums is something that we should not be doing. You know, these are very deceiving spirits and, for those who are lacking discernment, they can fall into that. And even true prophets of God need to be careful too, because even if you find yourself to be desperate for, you know, an elevation in your spiritual giftings, you can end up operating with familiar spirits just because you do not, you're not willing to wait on God. So we really need to be careful that we do not actually come into agreement with this. And, you know, the scripture that we can look at, I would say it's in, um, Acts where the Apostle Paul casted out that spirit from the slave girl. So this is in Acts 16, 16 through 18. It says, as we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owner much gain by fortune telling. So because she had this spirit of divination, she was able to, you know, basically be a popular psychic medium during that time for the people that were interested in it and it says she followed paul and us crying out these men are servants of the most high god so she was able to recognize who they were spiritually and it goes on to say who proclaimed to you the way of salvation and this she kept doing for many days paul having become greatly annoyed turned and said to the spirit i command you in the name of jesus christ to come out of her and it came out that very hour so the apostle paul recognized that it was actually the spirit that was operating behind her that recognized who they were and especially because she was following them around for a while you know she was constantly um false prophesying i guess you could say she had this spirit in her that gave her the ability to speak who they were so you know she was a pop popular fortune teller at that time and she was able to make a lot of money for her owners because of that but father i just declare that we renounce every covenant every contract and every agreement with fortune telling and psychic mediums in the mighty name of jesus truly recognize that this is not pleasing to god and if this is something that you have fallen into definitely repent and break free from this spirit because once you come into agreement with this spirit you are allowing it to operate in your life and this is not something that you want. You know, Leviticus 20, 27 says, A man or woman who is a medium or necromancer shall surely be put to death. So a necromancer is basically someone that talks to the dead. 
you know, they shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. So, Lord, we, de we declare that we destroy every foundation of monitoring spirits in our family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, any foundation of monitoring spirits that has been built up in your bloodline, be the one to set a different standard where you are changing things, where you're deciding that you are going to change the patterns that have been going on in your family. You know, any familiar spirit that is on our mother's side or our father's side, we just declare that they are being cut off of our life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we declare that we bind every attack of monitoring spirits today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every attack of monitoring spirits concerning our destiny, we cancel it in Jesus Christ's mighty name. You know, these spirits, they don't only hinder your destiny, but they also steal your blessings, you know? And this is why a lot of people sometimes can have issues landing jobs and things like that because these spirits are always watching and waiting to see what is coming next in your life so that they can interfere with it. And when we talk about these things in the physical realm, it could sound strange, but spiritually, when you see these things happening, then you can truly understand. These operations are actually super organized in the kingdom of darkness. It's not something that happens by accident. These are things that they are, you know, they, they are assigned to do these things in the spiritual realm. But Lord, we just declare that we completely disconnect ourselves from every monitoring spirit that has been assigned to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any monitoring spirit that has been assigned to us, we declare that today they are cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I know a lot of you guys email me as well about how like you see them in your dreams, you see them doing things in your dreams. But just know, even when God is showing you the attacks that are coming against you, that does not mean that it will prosper. You know, a lot of times God is showing you so that you can pray against it, but it doesn't mean that the attacks are going to prosper against you. So do not be discouraged when you see the things that they are doing against you, because if you automatically think that you have lost, then you will surrender to them. But Lord, we just declare that every enemy that rises against us will be defeated before us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, just like it says in Deuteronomy 28, 7, it says, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I feel like every time I do these lives, my throat is so scratchy. It says, the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They'll sh they shall come against you one way and flee before you seven different ways. So we just declare that every enemy that rises against us, they will be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not stand and they will not prosper against us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And we just command every stubborn problem in the foundation of our life created by familiar spirits to be dismantled by the fire of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, any plan that they have plotted against you, you know, concerning the things that you have going on in your life, I just declare that it is canceled right now in the mighty name of Jesus. It is being dismantled right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we just declare that we completely disconnect ourselves by the blood of Jesus from every stubborn problem that has been in our family for many generations because of these spirits. You know, anything that has been like anything like addiction, you know, look at the negative patterns that are in your family. These spirits are normally behind it. They're normally the ones that are reinforcing these problems. But this is why I say we can set a new standard. We could raise a new standard and be completely different. And that doesn't mean that it won't be challenging. But we have to remember that even through the challenges, we still have the victory. So, Father, we declare that our mind is being renewed even right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, the very trap that these spirits are setting before you, I declare that they will fall into it themselves in Jesus Christ's mighty name. They will fall into it themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. And this is in Psalm 141. It says, let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by in safety. So I just declare every trap that they prepare for you, they fall into it themselves. Anything that they are expecting you to fail in, I just declare that you will succeed in it in Jesus' name. And Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we just declare that we seal shut every door 
you know, every portal, every entryway that these spirits are using to come up against you, you know, to gain access to your life, it is cut off today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you had a bad dream? Wow. But I just declare, you said, not me listen, Doja Cat songs. <laughs> Lord, we just declare that we smash all monitoring communication devices and we destroy them to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any communication devices that they are using in the spiritual realm to connect to you, we just declare that it is destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that they are using to gain access to your life, to gain territory in your life, we declare that it is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that they are completely cut off and that you are set free and delivered from these spirits. And Father, we declare that we break off every stronghold that we were once in agreement with. Like if you used to go to psychic mediums or you used to do tarot card readings, understand that these are things of familiar spirits. These are not of God. These are truly not of God. And a lot of people are deceived. These things are considered witchcraft in the eyes of God. But Father, we declare that our enemies are thrown into a place of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Exodus 23, 27 says, I will send my terror ahead of you and throw into confusion every nation you encounter. I will make all your enemies turn their backs and run. So I just declare that our enemies will not be able to stand against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that they will be thrown into a place of confusion. And Lord, we just declare that we cancel every witchcraft attack that is connected to monitoring spirits. You know, a lot of times familiar spirits and witchcraft go hand in hand. But Father, we just declare that it is completely canceled and disconnected from our life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, any soul tie with monitoring spirits, we declare that it is broken today in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And anywhere that these spirits are throned in the spiritual realm, standing against us, Father, we just, we just declare that they receive the thunder fire of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare that they are being dethroned, that they no longer hold that same position in our life. And Father, let the habitation of familiar spirits in our life be completely destroyed. Let it become desolate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if you guys want to as well, I do have a prayer for familiar spirits on my website and it's a lot more personal too. And it's really, it's really long, but it's definitely something that I recommend you reading on your own. And just if you're fasting or anything, definitely read it because a lot of people had great testimonies out of that. So I know God is going to still move. But I just declare every monitoring spirit is dismantled by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every throne of monitoring spirits in our life, every stronghold of monitoring spirits, it is being pulled down today in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just declare that anytime these diviners try to connect to us spiritually, they will not be able to gain information about us because we are covered by God in the spiritual realm. My website is cedarinlebanon.org. It's also in my um, link tree bio. But they are completely cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, every stronghold is completely pulled down. Every network of monitoring spirits is dismantled. Every device that they're using to gain access to our life is destroyed. You know, any mirror or black screen that they are using against us in the spiritual realm, I declare that it is cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every communication system that they are using is destroyed in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And Father, we just thank you so much for keeping us covered and protected that even when this spirit tries to attack us, they cannot gain access to our life that even when they are trying to rob us of the blessings and the things that you are doing in our life, they cannot prosper. You need, you, these spirits are like spiritual robbers. They come up against us so that they are able to, you know, stop the work of God in our life, to hinder the work of God in our life. But I just declare that God's plans will always prevail. The things that God has planned for us, it will always prevail. And this is why it's important for us to fully come into agreement with the plans of God. 
and to be obedient as well. So Father, we just thank you so much for the victory that is already won, that we already have the victory on every side, that even when our enemies are coming up against us, we know that we have won the battle. And it is by the blood of Jesus Christ. So by the blood of Jesus Christ, let every covenant made with familiar spirits be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, by the blood of Jesus, let everything planted in our life by familiar spirits come out now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Anything that has been plotted against you, even if it was planned a long time ago, we declare that it is canceled in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Anything that was plotted against your destiny, we declare that it will not prosper against you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And it's just amazing how great God is and how he truly saves us from these things. You know, when it comes to familiar spirits and the way that they operate, especially with divination and witchcraft, like psychic readings and tarot cards readings, some people are just so in denial and cannot accept that these things are not of God and they want to hold on to them so much. But when you read the word of God, you see how these things are detestable to God and how he views them as witchcraft. But Father, we just declare that we reverse every evil pattern of familiar spirits concerning our destiny. Anything that these spirits want us to fail at, we declare that we will succeed at it in Jesus' name. And let every cage of familiar spirits that are caging our life in the spiritual realm, let it be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare that we have escaped, that we are not being held bound by this spirit that even if this spirit has attacked our mother, our father, our grandparents, that it will not prevail against us, that we are setting a new standard because we know that Christ is the one that saves us. And truly be dedicated and committed as well to just being loyal to God. You know, just be dedicated and committed to truly living your life for God so that these spirits will not be able to manipulate your life. Lord, let every familiar spirit manipulating our life be scattered right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because these spirits are no joke too. Like if you don't even see that, if you don't know that they're operating against you, you'll just think that, you know, you're failing at things, that things are not going good. You'll just think that these things are just happening by accident, but they're actually planned because these spirits are, you know, assigned against you in the spiritual realm. But Lord, we just declare that every transportation system of familiar spirits is destroyed, that they cannot gain access to us in the spiritual realm. Every time they are seeking us, they will not be able to find us. And any weapon that they are using against us, Father, we declare that it turns against them, that every weapon that they thought they were using against us, it falls against them. And Lord, we just declare we withdraw our blessings as well from every room that they have stored up our blessings in, the things that they have stolen from us. And they must pay back sevenfold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every single thing that they have stolen. So Father, we thank you so much for completely dismantling and destroying every altar of familiar spirits that is operating in our life that has just been robbing us. You know, any padlock that they are using against you to withhold the things of God in your life, that God, the things that God actually has for you, the blessings that God has for you. Lord, we declare that every trap of familiar spirits is completely destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, any satanic altar where these familiar spirits have been operating, we just command them to catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any monitoring spirit around our family that is affecting our family, our businesses, our finances, maybe your children, anything that they're affecting, we declare that it is cut off today in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Any curses that this spirit is trying to reinforce in your life, any generational curses, we declare that it is cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, any satanic mirror that is monitoring you in the spiritual realm, 
We declare that that mirror, that mirror is breaking right now in the mighty name of Jesus. It is shattering to pieces. They will no longer be able to monitor you through those mirrors. That's crazy. I think that's confirmation. I just heard glass break outside. So every satanic mirror that is used against you to monitor your life, we declare that it is smashed to pieces in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And Father, we just thank you so much for completely dismantling the plans of these spirits. Thank you so much for completely destroying their plans concerning our destiny. That we know that our destiny has been preserved. And that God is watching over everything that is going on in our life. That he's not just sitting there idly watching things happening. So Lord, we declare that anything that is coming against our marriages, our families, our businesses, our finances, it is being destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ. All of their plots and their schemes against us are being destroyed in Jesus Christ's mighty name. You know, any any spirit that monitors you when you pray, when you pray out loud so that they can interfere, I just declare that they are being cut off from your life in Jesus' name. That they are being cut off from your homes. They no longer can stay in your homes. You know, they may have places in, in your home where they just watch you, but we just declare that they are being cut off today in the name of Jesus Christ. And just declare too that your home is holy ground, that they have no right and no authority to be in your home, that you do not give them that right to reside in your home. And truly go to war in the spirit and ask the Lord to show you, you know, ask the Lord to show you if they're around. You know, sometimes if you see shadows moving around in your home, or even if you hear your voice, your name being called by a random voice, but no one is around, that could be a sign that there are monitoring spirits around you. So Lord, we just declare that any power that is monitoring our prayers so that they can interfere with the work that you are doing in our life, they are being cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, for moving on our behalf. You know, any evil ears that are listening to our conversations, we command them to go deaf in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare that they are completely cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, all powers of the kingdom of darkness that are orchestrating evil against us, we just declare that they are being cut off today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we command you to be destroyed. We leave no room for you to operate in our life. We command every monitoring eye to go blind right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, any evil mirror, we declare that it is scattered. And we declare that we gouge out the eyes of every monitoring agent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we just thank you, Father, for completely destroying every evil projection that has been made against us by these spirits. Every evil projection, we declare it is being reversed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we reverse every evil effect that has been caused upon our life because of these spirits. The testimonies that I've gotten and the stories that I've heard, the things that people have experienced because of these spirits, you know, they even in the spiritual realm, they even use animals to monitor you. They even use animals. But we declare that those animals are being cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are set free and we are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. We reverse every effect that has been caused because of these spirits in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And Lord, we declare that we frustrate the plans. You know, we frustrate the plans of these spirits. Yeah, they can be flies as well. We frustrate the plans of these spirits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every time they try to come against us, their plans will be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. In any exchange of our virtues that has been made in the spiritual realm, we declare that we take it back. You know, take back your virtues that have been stolen. Everything that has been stolen by these spirits, we declare that we take it back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we just thank you so much for the blood of Jesus that redeems us 
and that restores us. We declare that every familiar spirit manipulation that has been used against us is completely destroyed. You know, any spell, any enchantment, any witchcraft manipulation that has been used against us, it will not prosper against us. It will no longer prosper against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, every covenant with familiar spirits, we declare it is broken. We declare that the blood of Jesus melted away from our life in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Anything planted in our life, we command it to come out. You know, Jesus said anything that was not planted by our Heavenly Father will be uprooted. So I just declare that every plan of these familiar spirits in our life, it is completely uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is completely uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we just declare that every plan of the enemy has been reversed and canceled. Every plan of these familiar spirits concerning our destiny, it is canceled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any generational issues, it is canceled. Any reoccurring problems, we declare that it is canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. Any issues upon our health that are being reinforced by these spirits, we declare it is canceled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, all of these demonic cycles that are being reinforced by these spirits. We just declare that we are set free and we are delivered from these evil patterns. These things that you have never intended to be in our life, Lord. We declare that we are set free and we are delivered. We are set free and we are delivered. Every foundation that has been laid by these familiar spirits, we declare that it is destroyed today that their plans will not prosper against us. That every time our enemies try to rise against us, the blood of Jesus speaks for us and delivers us and sets us free. So Father, we thank you so much for allowing us to be delivered and set free. Thank you for allowing healing to be our portion, that we will no longer be overtaken by these spirits. We do not come into agreement with anything concerning these spirits and any covenant that has been made in the spiritual realm, we completely disconnect ourselves from it. You know, ask the Lord, what may be the open door in your life? What are you allowing in your life? You know, what are you allowing in your life that is actually leaving room for these spirits to operate? That's why the Holy Spirit had me mention the psychic readings in the tarot cards, because that is an open door to familiar spirits in your life. So just repent and renounce and declare that the covenant is broken so that these spirits no longer have access to you. And remember, if God has called you to be a prophet, do not get to a place where you're so desperate for your spiritual giftings to be amplified that you are willing to go to familiar spirits or, you know, other powers so that you are able to be enhanced spiritually before God has intended for you to be elevated. You know, it's a, it's truly a dangerous game. That's how a lot of prophets end up in witchcraft. But Father, we just thank you so much for helping us to be renewed and restored, that your plans are the foundation of our life and every demonic foundation that has been laid is completely destroyed and uprooted, that our enemies are in a place of confusion even right now. Even as we are praying right now, our enemies are in a place of confusion. That every spirit that has once monitored our life, they are now cut off and they no longer have access to us. That their habitation camps are now desolate and they cannot keep watch over our life and our destiny. You know, anything that has been planned by them, we declare that it is canceled and destroyed. Any system that has been put in place, it is completely destroyed and dismantled. That we are raising a new standard in our bloodline that even though things may have been the same for so many generations, that we are setting that new standard. And we declare that they are blind, they are deaf. They no longer have access to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that we will not be stagnated by these spirits anymore. You know, any stagnation that they try to bring into our life, we declare that we rise above it, 
that any opportunities that they try to steal from our life, they cannot steal it. And truly be watchful and be prayerful as well. Truly be watchful and prayerful so that you are able to see the attacks. You know, if the Lord is showing you that they are trying to gain entry into your life or that they are trying to attack certain things in your life, you can pray against it. So, Father, we just thank you so much for completely destroying every demonic manipulation that has been set in place by these spirits in our life. And that we know we already have the victory. We know that we have the victory over these spirits because Jesus Christ has already done it all for us. So, Lord, we declare that we stand in agreement with the plans that you have for our life and our destiny. You know, anything that has been placed in our life by the enemy, we trust that it is being completely uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, any monitoring spirit, thank you for the gift. Any monitoring spirit that has been in our life since birth, we declare that they are cut off today. That they are cut off today. So, Father, we thank you for reversing every evil pattern, every evil pattern that has been put in place by these spirits, that they no longer have access to us in any identification mark that they have placed upon us in the spiritual realm. We declare that it is being wiped off today in Jesus Christ's mighty name, that it is being melted away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that we retrieve back our virtues that have been stolen from us. You know, anywhere that these spirits have been controlling our life, we declare that we are no longer going to be under their control. We are no longer going to be under their control in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we just thank you for destroying every enchantment and manipulation, any divination of witchcraft that has been operating against us with these monitoring spirits, that we are no longer bewitched. You know, any projection that has been made spiritually is cut off in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And I truly pray that you guys are set free and delivered. I know that the power of God is going to move in your life and that God is even doing great things right now as we are praying together. You know, he will not allow you to be overtaken by these demonic spirits and truly ask God to reveal to you the plan and purpose that he has set for you. So you can be in full agreement with his plan so that whenever these spirits try to come in and pull you in a different direction, that you will be like, no, I know the plans of God for my life. This is not the direction that I'm supposed to go in, you know, so that you do not fall into the trap of the enemy. But that is pretty much it. I'm going to leave the prayers right here. Father, we thank you so much for moving on our behalf today. We thank you so much for your power that is moving in our life, setting us free, healing us, and delivering us in every area of our life, our health, our finances, you know, our schooling, anything, Lord, every single area of our life that we need to work on. We just declare that we are set free, healed, and delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm just so grateful for deliverance. You know, when God delivers us, it truly transforms our life and it does not leave us the same. And when you see the move of God in your life, you know that, you know, he has done something. That door that God has opened, no one can shut, you know. So it doesn't matter what is coming against you. Once God has declared something over your life, that is it. Nothing and no one can stop it. There may be warfare, you know. You're welcome. God bless you guys. There may be warfare, but you still have the victory. You know, we may have to tussle and fight a little bit in the spiritual realm, but we still have the victory. Because our enemies, they may try to, you know, frustrate the plans of God and try to bring us into a place of discouragement where we think we have already lost. But once we recognize that we are working from a place of victory already, we are able to stand firm no matter what things are looking like. So Father, we just thank you so much for moving in our life, moving on our behalf. And I will I will be sharing the scriptures in on my um 
on all of my social media platforms and in the WhatsApp group. Also, the replay will be on my YouTube channel. And remember, we will not be doing the 5 a.m. prayers anymore. We are going to be doing midnight prayers starting on Monday. So we'll still be praying Monday through Friday, but we will be doing it at midnight. And I'm going to put it in my bio so that you guys um, don't forget, so that you remember. But I'm so grateful as well for those of you who have been join joining these prophetic prayers you know, at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because, you know, the power of God has been moving so heavily. Thank you so much for the gifts and the things that God has done in just a little over a month is honestly so amazing and it's so encouraging. And that's why I also encourage you guys to share your testimonies with us. You know, the things that God is doing in your life and how he's transforming and changing your life. To join the WhatsApp group, you can send me an email and I will send you the invite link for it. My email is acedarinlebanon at gmail.com. Acedarinlebanon at gmail.com. Somebody said God can't even reveal himself. God truly is in everything and everywhere. You know, if you close yourself off to him or you don't even believe that he can reveal himself to you, then he's not going to. And my email is also, yeah. Oh, hey, prophetess. I, I didn't even realize you were in here. Thank you so much for joining. Is this your first time? I'm not sure if it's your first time. I don't really read the comments like that. But I'm honestly so excited to see, you know, what else God does for us and how he will continue to do great things, transform our life, you know? Somebody, that's funny. He said I'm reporting everything back to the internet. <laughs> so I truly pray that you guys are blessed. And I'm so, thank you so much. I, I got like 30 minutes of sleep. No, I'm literally 29 years old. I'm not that young. I got 30 minutes of sleep, but it's, it's really like that sometimes, you know? I tell God that it doesn't matter how, how much sleep I get, I'm, I'm going to always get up to pray, you know? But the replay will be on my YouTube channel. You also can get my spiritual warfare book on Amazon. It's called The Battlefield of the Spirit. I also have a Christian romance novel called Promenade Crush. It's also on Amazon and it's also at um, Barnes & Noble. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's also at Barnes & Noble. And today we are on Psalm 31 and Psalm 32. We are reading two chapters of Psalm every single day. And yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're reading two chapters of Psalm every single day until we finish the entire chapter. And then we're going to move on to a different book in the Bible. But we already completed Proverbs. So now we're going to be completing Psalm. So I'm just so excited as we read the word of God, we're going to continue to nourish our spirit. This is truly what we need, you know. We need to be in the word of God every single day and feed our spirit. Because like I say, if you're saying that you're putting on the armor of God every day, but you're not reading the word every day, you're lying to yourself because the word of God is the sword of the spirit. You know, the word of God is the sword of the spirit. So we need to pick up the word every single day. But I'm going to leave you guys here. Thank you guys for joining this live. And we will be back live Monday at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will put reminders on my social media. I'll probably also put... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do Bible study on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, welcome. This is your first time. <laughs> this person is so funny. <laughs> yeah, because there's over 100 people on this live, so. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get off. I'm just going to get off. I'll see you guys on Monday.